Join us in this episode as we explore Bremer Bay. Hey, Harry. We catch some fish, get ourselves bogged on the beach, and head to Ravensthorpe for a look. Nothing we would change at all. A feeling that is deeper than the Previously. In our last episode, we were exploring the stunning Stirling Ranges. We found ourselves outrunning a pretty bad storm and hiking up some pretty high peaks. Hey team, on our way to Bremer Bay. We're just going to get some fuel and make our way there. Heard it's meant to be a nice bay, so yeah, can't wait to go check it out. Let's go. Double banger! Yeah. I got a We made it into Bremer Bay just after lunch. Gonna go for a fish off the Bremer Bay jetty. And a crab. And a crab. Going down. Fingers crossed. Caught a rock cod. Rock cod. With the net. <laughs> That's funny as. See how big he is. He'd be almost 30. I threw him back and we called it a day. The following day we headed to Blossoms Beach. As the wind was up, we got told Blossoms Beach would be a good spot for a fish as it's quite protected from the winds. The sand was so white and squeaky. We decided to head down and around the rocks for a fish. I gave up pretty quickly and sat with Rusty on the rocks, admiring the stunning blue water. Well, no luck down at this end, so we headed up to the other end of the beach. It was salmon season, and I really wanted to catch a salmon. So we trekked out to this new spot out on the rocks. Well, it was a lot more promising with some bites. Although Kurt was after salmon, he did catch quite a few herring. Almost every cast I'd get a herring. I sure stocked up on herring bait. We left Blossoms Beach and visited a few more spots and another promising fishing spot. Remain calm. Have to stand up. Whoa! Salmon! Yeah, baby! How am I going to get in? Calm down. 
I'd bring it straight up through here. See how it's flat rocks? It can just flap on the rocks. Wait for the wave. He's going up in the channel. Oh no. Oh, should I get him up the channel? I don't know. I don't know. I actually hooked another three salmon, but can you believe it? After two nights camped up at the van park, it was time to leave. Van park's empty. If only we had seniors discount, we'd say an extra couple of days. Unlucky for you. Unfortunately, because we did not have grey hair, we weren't eligible for the stay for and pay three deal. It would have been nice to stay longer in Bremer. Oh well, off to spend the morning at the beach. We parked up by the water's edge, rolled out the awning and I sat back while Kurt fished. If you want to catch herring, Bremer Bay is where it's at. Look at the size of them. Crazy. Crazy. After one hour of fishing and a lot of herring, we decided to continue on the track. Time to leave the beach. Whoopsies. Looks like we're bogged. I tried digging out the tyres, but it just wasn't enough. Time to deflate. I hadn't let them down at all when I drove onto the beach, so once deflated, we should be sweet. All deflated down to 20 psi and it was as easy as that. Correct tyre pressure is the key. Now all pumped up, we were on our track to Raventhorpe. We popped into Kukunarup Memorial to stretch the legs. It related to the indigenous people and the sad history of the area. A short 500 meter loop walk with a dozen signs which tell you about the history. We continued on the drive, passing the T tree. <laughs> we, we made it into Ravensthorpe later that afternoon, 
as it was officially our two year anniversary for being on the road, woohoo! We quickly set up in the free RV camp and headed down to the pub to celebrate. What better way to celebrate than a chicken palmy and a pint of beer? The following morning we packed up and headed back down the road to the silo art for a better look. We'd seen a few silo art pieces in Victoria, but this one was our first official WA silo art. While Kurt had the drone up, he spotted something interesting across the road, so of course we had to go check it out. Here we are, exploring a gold mine. I sent the drone up in the air and I saw it and couldn't resist. There's uh, bloody snakes and all kinds of stuff here. Sure it's a mine and not a mill? I think it's safe to say Ames was right, and this was, in fact, an old mill. Oh, bees. Did you get you? Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah. Bees. What I wanted to do was see the old mill. On that note, we think it's time to leave town. Well, join us next time as we set up in Esperance for a week and get to finally see what all the fuss is about. Love our videos? Why not help support us on Patreon? Even just a couple of dollars per episode would be much appreciated. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video and hit that subscribe button if you are new. Cheers, legends.